You got it. All right, when you're here at the Garden and the emotion is starting to fill up and you're hearing the voice, the bellowing voice come over, the uh, PA, it's this guy right here. And uh, let me just ask you a question, because you've been doing this how long now? This is my 10th season. In your 10 years, aside from the championship, what was one of the most uh, memorable moments there? Because the championship, that's the easy thing that we that's can That's easy. Right, yeah, yeah. Game six, uh, winning it all. I mean, I'll never forget my first game. I, mean, I had my family in the house. And these seats right here are best, you know, seats, in the best seats in the house. Except it, that there's so much going on on this table at yeah. night. It's, you know, I have friends that have been season ticket holders as I was years ago. Yeah. And say, oh, you've had a great view. Yeah, but you know what? Between scripts being passed and scoring information going on, and yeah. it's it's pretty hectic now. Yeah. What happens when the emotion of the game is really, really it's as thick as anything, and, and you're oh, well, you're I'm here? A, I'm, how, a how, life, you keep, I'm a lifelong Celtics fan. But so do you there keep your emotions points. in check, or does it get to. out of control? No, I have to. There have been times that I've been like. There's got to be a little bit more little hand signals to keep it down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And of course, you know, whenever the Celtics go on a run, and you yeah. know, there may have been a big three-pointer that you know they end up taking the lead, and of yeah. course, you get a little juiced up and get the crowd going. Um, as a matter of fact, that was part of the audition of you know cre creating a, an atmosphere like that. Because there's a lot of guys in the NBA that go crazy. They go out of yeah, you know, but, and you know, this is Boston, yeah. and it's a lot different than say Orlando. We don't need the prompt crowd. The yeah. crowds here know the game, so it's not like you've got to tell them to stand up and cheer. I mean, yeah. we do have prompts up on the Jumbotron, mm -hmm. but for the most part, I mean, these are the, probably the most educated fans in the NBA.